Okay. Can you come use it? Oh my gosh, I set this down and he came right over like he was going to use it and then I stopped him because my camera wasn't freaking on and now he's like, what the heck, man? You told me not to come over there and then I come over here and... Come here. Can you show him how it's used? Can you please show the people on YouTube how to use the Royal Cat Boutique Kitty Treadmill? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh man well I might not get video footage of them scratching on it but I do have video footage of them scratching on it when it first arrived and it is used all the time <laughs> um, as you can see, there's a fair amount of cat hair on it because they really like to use this as a launching pad or a landing pad. Um, Charlie especially uses this in the morning when he gets up um, from his, I don't know, sleep, sleeping time. And then um, he gets down off of the cat power tower basically and comes and scratches on this thing. So... Royal Cat Boutique is a small, um, I think family owned company. And this is one of many products that they make. Um, one of the lower priced items that they make, they make cat trees and stuff as well. But this um, is a sisal scratcher that is elevated just slightly as you can see. And oh. it's elevated by those two posts right there. There's Royal Cat Boutique's uh, logo. And so you can see it's a piece of plywood that's wrapped in sisal and then it has this like faux leather um, looking material on the sides to finish it off. And the cats were immediately attracted to it. To be honest, I didn't think that they'd use it at all. Um, so I was really, really happy to see that they liked it um, and that they've been using it. Um, one of the advantages of a sisal scratcher over a cardboard one, of course, is that it's going to last longer. You're not going to have those, um, whatchamacallit, little pieces of cardboard all over the place. Here, here's evidence that they've been using it because that's part of their nail right there um, that's been shaled off. So um, Charlie's found a new spot on there. Oh, yummies. So we're doing a full review on the Royal Cat Boutique's Kitty Treadmill. Um, while it's called a treadmill, it's not your traditional treadmill. I think they've just named it that because um, of the elevate, elevated platform that it comes on. And the idea that, you know, if you see a cat scratching its claws, it's kind of like a, a treadmill in that sense. I can't get either one of them to scratch right now. But both of them did scratch during arrival videos, so I think at the end of this video, I'm going to show clips of that if I can. Bird's eye view of Trig on the treadmill. So it starts right there at the base of his tail, stay. Um, and then he can curl his paws. Yeah, he does. He has them curled over. Just hold it. Ah! Bub, you need to be coming. Come right here. Right here. So I will include links in the about section to where you can buy the kitty treadmill online the, um, through Royal Cat Boutique's website. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we will see you next time. You can get on there and scratch. You can get on there and scratch, scratch, scratch. You can get scratchings. <laughs> Lady, I do not scratch on demand. What is this scratching on demand stuff? Stuffers. I also thought that this might be too small for ragdolls, but um, it's worked out fine. I, I would like to see um, a larger platform and a longer one. I think that ragdolls might like that a little bit better, but um, they have been fine with this one so far.
Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. We're going to do some... Yay, Bob Kid! That's what it's for! It's stuck? Are you stuck on that side? There you go. Up and Trig is actually using that um, that treadmill that we just got, so that was cool.